James Blake, uh, a lot more peaceful, a lot more cohesive, and uh, I think well produced would be a word that would come to mind because, you know, last time we talked about James Blake dropping a project was in uh, 2019 at the beginning of the year with Assume Form, which I think we both walked away from feeling like this is definitely James Blake reaching his potential. This is him really putting it together. We'd had some some albums of his that were hit and miss with some of the songs, but this felt like a cohesive work. And before it feels like a continuation in a way of that vision and that song crafting that, that Blake is um, really, I think, refining. Uh, I, I found myself throughout kind of being like, ah, that's probably my favorite song on it. Ah, no, I think I like that one a little <laughs> bit more. That, that flourish right there was really nice. And I, I walked away impressed and just wanting more. So hopefully there's more coming. How are you feeling about this EP though? Yeah, I liked it a lot. In particular, there's two songs that really stand out to me. I keep calling the first track, Do You Ever? The third track, those, they kind of hark back to like James Blake's true roots as like a London club DJ. Uh-huh. Even though these these songs don't actually sound like like you know year one James Blake or anything, but I think with the presence of like loops in the, in the production, yeah, like stood out to me, brought me back like that, you know, the, and like the Simps. So like it's kind of weird or not weird, but like it's cool to see James Blake continue to progress because this definitely de- feels like another step forward the way Assumed Form did but also not exactly like what Assume Before Him was. So it definitely seems like James Blake is uh, in a really inspired place these days, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, and, and I think when we talked about Assume Before Him, you know, we acknowledged that he was in a, uh, he's in a relationship right now with um, uh, Jamila Jamil from The Good Place, and they seem to have just a really – supportive and and loving relationship uh, from everything you can tell publicly obviously um and that that seems to be a real inspiration for some of these tracks i I agree do you ever was probably the the number one standout to me um but i really liked the song before and uh, particularly the way that he like would swell the strings up around the chorus um i felt like that was just a really nice touch and um it's something that i feel like if if it wasn't done well can just not have the same effect but this really gives you that like swelling emotional effect that i think he was going for but then even you know you mentioned the first track i keep calling was great do you ever i love the breakdown at the end of do you ever yeah. where it was him trading back and forth just like bars and that loop that you talked about um of you know him being like really and then like uh if you're if you're uh ever gonna whatever with me uh it it was just a really uh, inspired ending. Yeah. And then even Summer of Now, I thought was a solid track. So not not a bad song on here, in my opinion. I don't think it's been publicly said if there's more coming, but I have to assume we're going to get an album in the near future. Yeah, I think so. He has not publicly said as far as I can tell. There has been some other loose singles that he had released earlier this year, like Godspeed, uh, just on September 11th recently. Mm-hmm. So we're definitely getting that kind of like a piecemeal uh, approach to releases at the moment so I, I do hope it uh, adds up to something uh probably this, this also might be another product of quarantine you know i mean james blake not someone that released lots of albums in quick succession soon formed just last year but because he has nothing else to do he just seems to be working we know he'd been working with like flatbush zombies he's obviously a big collaborator all the time that certainly hasn't changed but it seems like he's focusing on himself too and you know i think i keep calling do you ever these feel like the closest James Blake really gets to like single potential, like yeah. playlist potential with his music, you know, in terms of like accessible one offs within a larger context. I think that again, another cool side to him as an artist. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I guess just to throw a quick question out there, I don't know if you even have an answer. This is off the top of my head. Uh, if, if you could see Blake, you know, collaborate with an artist right now. Who would you want to see? You know, on the last one, uh, his last album, Assume Form, we had like Andre 3000, right. Travis Scott, Moza Sumney, uh, Rosalia. Um, had quite Got a few. Rosalia early. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if someone like, like Slow Thigh 
I mean, he oh. just did release a track with with him um, on it, but maybe getting like another track that he, just huh. him and Slow Thigh. Maybe some of those like drill artists over in in Brook, either in Brooklyn or in the UK. Eddie One, let's get it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's do it. Um, no, definitely, I think there's some potential. So, hoping we get some interesting collabs whenever that album comes out uh, and check out again, our nostalgia best of 2020 playlist on Spotify. We did add a James Blake song and we'll be adding a Dorian Electra song as well. 